this class we see if a network contains many voltage sources and current sources how to reduce the network into a single equivalent source we will work out some problems problem number 1 reduce into single source equivalent in this network three current sources this is 1 amps this is 1 amps this is 1 amps and five resistors are connected four resistors are connected in parallel one is connected in series all the resistors are in ohms we have to find what is its is single source equivalent so this is the, see the direction of current this is 1 this is 1 this is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 this is 1 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 amps this is 1 amps the four resistors are connected in parallel that is i will take it this is 2 this is 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1 that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and this is 1 ohms so the equivalent resistance is 0.25 the four resistance equivalent is 0.25 so this is 0.25 this is 1 ohms this is 1 amps now i convert this current source into a voltage source 1 into 0.25 that is equal to 0.25 volts and the 0.25 ohms should be connected in series with the voltage source that is 0.25 1 plus 0.25 this is 1 plus 0.25 1.25 this is 0.25 volts this is a equivalent single source Problem number two. This is a given network. I have to convert into a single source equivalent. This is four volts. This is two ohms. This is two volts. This is one ohm. This is two volt. This is two ohms. First step is I will convert these two voltage sources into a current source. This is four by two. That is equal to two amps. And the two ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the source. Similarly, two by one. That is equal to two amps. And the one ohm resistor is connected in parallel. This is two volts. This is two ohms. Now I redraw the diagram. I see the direction of current here. The direction is same. Therefore, two plus two is equal to four amps. And these two resistors are connected in parallel. And this is two volts. This is two ohms. Now the equivalent resistance is two into one divided by two plus one. That is equal to two by three. This is four amps. Now I convert this current source into a voltage source. That is four into two by three. That is 8 by 3 and the 2 by 3 resistance should be connected in series with the voltage source. This is 2 by 3, this is 8 by 3, this is plus, this is plus, this 2 volts is plus. Therefore, there is a potential drop. 8 by 3 minus 2 that is equal to 0 0.67 volts and 2 by 3 plus 2 that is equal to 2.66. This is the single source equivalent. Problem number 3. In this problem, here the 10 volt battery and 5 ohm, this is 5 ohm, this is 5 ohm, this is 5 amps, this is 5 ohm. This is a network. I have to convert into a single source equivalent. First step is I will convert this voltage source into a current source. That is 10 divided by 5, that is equal to 2 amps. And the 5 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the 2 ohm, 2 amps current source. Here this is 5 ohms. So these two are in parallel, 5 into 5 divided by 5 plus 5 that is equal to 25 by 10 that is equal to 2.5 ohms this is 2 amps this is 5 ohms this is 5 amps this is 5 ohms here there are two current sources i will convert into a voltage source that is 2.5 into 2 that is equal to 5 volts and this 2.5 ohms should be connected in series with this similarly 25 5 the total resistance is 12.5 voltage is 25 minus 5 that is equal to 20 volts this is the single source equivalent Problem number 4, the two voltage sources are connected as shown in figure in between one 1 ohm resistor is connected. Here I convert this voltage source into a current source and similarly this voltage source into a current source. This is 2 amps, this is 1 ohms. Similarly this is 2 amps, this is 1 ohm. Here the direction is same. This is 2 amps, 2 amps that is equal to 4 amps. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 amps. And the equivalent resistance is 1 by 3 that is equal to 0 0.33. This is the single source equivalent. Problem number 5, here the 3 batteries and 3 resistors are connected as shown in figure. This is 9 volts, this is 12 volts, this is 4 volts. And the 3 resistors, this is 3 ohm, 6 ohm and 2 ohm. Now I convert these 2 voltage source into a current source that is 9 by 3 that is equal to 3 amps. And the 3 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the current source. And similarly this is 12 by 6 that is equal to 2 amps. And the 6 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the 2 amp source. 
and this is 4 volt this is 2 here the current direction is same 3 amps and 2 amps therefore 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 amps and the two resistors 3 and 6 is connected in parallel therefore 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 that is equal to 2 ohms this is 5 amps this is 2 ohms this is 4 volts this is 4 volts now i will convert this uh, 5 amps and 2 this is a current source i will convert it into a voltage source 5 into 2 that is equal to 10 volts the 2 ohm resistance is connected in series this is 4 volts and 2 ohms the total voltage is 6 volts and the resistance is 2 ohms this is a single source equivalent with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening